Okay, welcome to Vector Equations, and this is pretty much where it really, you know, kind of takes off and we start to get into functions. Um, so basically, um, the goal at the end of the day is we want to take a vector and it's going to start at the origin and its, its magnitude and direction is going to change. It's going to change just enough along the way to carve out a, a line or a curve or in three-dimensional space it might carve out a cylinder a spiral okay so you see how that's happening look at R of T and R of T is just basically it's just kind of changing like this so it's a lot like polar coordinates remember you had you had R of theta and theta would change and R would kind of carve out like a snail or a, a, a spiral or a lemicon or whatever or a cardioid or a, you know something like that so so basically, um, um, see, where do I begin? I guess let's just start with um, you know our basic vector addition. So if I, if I add vectors, so, well, see, I got two vectors here. I got one that originates here, terminates at P, and then I've got another one here. I uh, hope you can see that. Um, and there's no reason to have the, the title in there. So, okay, so you, you can see what's going on here. You got a vector, it terminates here. You got another one, it terminates here. However, right here, we don't really have a vector, but I guess we could make one out of PQ, okay? So we could just go ahead and say PQ is equal to um, X minus two. And we could say that's equal to Y minus four, couldn't we? Okay, so there's that little part right there. So, um, so basically, and then we've got T up here. Now, it looks like V is parallel to vector PQ. Okay, so let's zoom out now because now we need to do our paper. So, V, is, I, I'm defining that to be parallel to PQ. Okay, um, but they're not equal because their magnitudes aren't the same. Okay, but I could change all that if I take V and multiply it by some scalar multiple, which we'll call T. Okay, we don't know what, exactly what it's going to be, okay, but we're just saying that there exists a number out there, a scalar, that we can multiply V to, and then that'll force PQ and, and V to be equal. So if, if we go ahead and do that, we could go ahead and call this vector now. TV, couldn't we? All right, now it, it's it's a little easier to go ahead and add these uh, guys together now, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's see here. If we take R plus TV, okay, we get R plus TV. We end up with R prime of T, right? And if we go a little further here, just kind of rearrange it. It starts to take on the look of a real function, doesn't it? Okay, so I got a variable here. You know, I got a constant, and a variable. Then I've got like a you know a constant out here. So it kind of it looks a lot like um, you know just a, the equation of a regular line. Okay. Um, so here's the next thing we're gonna do though. Um, R T is equal to what x y it terminates at point x y. TV, well, that would just be AT times BT plus, let's see here, what, what's R? That's uh, 2 com comma 4 is the vector thing. So it looks like X is equal to 2 plus AT and Y is equal to 4 plus BT. Oops, I didn't put it all the way in there. You see how I did that? I just I did ve I did vector addition right here. So if I add TV to R, I get two plus AT and four plus BT. Okay, so uh, I guess a better way you might want to look at it, you could be like, well, this component, this component, and this component, you know, are all kind of one within each other, you know. And then likewise, you could look at the other set of components the same way. So basically what we ended up with right here 
is a, is a set of parametric equations. Okay, and this is just kind of an intro right there. So basically, you know, this is uh, how we go about using vectors to carve out, um, you know, functions. So basically, you know, like, like say this is a vector, you know, if it was spinning around in a circle, you know, I'd have kind of a cone looking thing, you know, but, um, but, but this is the most basic form of it. Okay. So when we start doing algebraic operations, um, get used to seeing this right here, this R T being equal to, you know, T times V plus R. That's the actual vector equation of a line. Okay. So I hope that helped. I really do. I really hope it helped. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video.